video welcome back or welcome if you are new and welcome to a 24 hour readathon i'm not gonna lie i woke up this morning and i was like i just feel like reading for 24 hours so here we are i'm doing a spontaneous 24 hour readathon i haven't done one i think since christmas this is the first one of the year i'm sure of many and i'm so excited because there are so many books that i have been dying to get to and i feel like i just want to read them all today i don't know how successful this is going to be the last time i did a 24 hour readathon i did the timer method today though i don't think i'm going to do that i'm just going to read from i think 1 p.m today to 1 p.m tomorrow we'll see how much i can read and just have a really nice chill 24 hours of non-stop reading there are as i said a couple of books on my tbr today i'm not expecting to get to all of these i feel like that would be incredibly ambitious but i will just quickly run through some of the ones that i want to finish slash definitely start some books that i am currently reading that i would love to finish in this video the first one magnolia parks into the dark i am actually reading this for a different video so my thoughts will definitely be in that one that video will be up way before this one is so you already might know what i thought about this book or if i even finished it but as of right now i have just over 100 pages left so i would love to finish this today in this video the other physical book that i'm currently reading that i definitely want to finish today is the life ceremony by siaka moretta i'm currently on page 145 that is just over halfway through so really doable this is a collection of short stories very weird strange fiction short story if you've read this or any of siaka moretta's books before like they're f***ing strange and i feel like that's perfect for a 24 hour readathon because i'm just gonna binge read them and probably be quite stunned so i definitely want to finish that today and then in terms of books that i would at least like to start hopefully potentially finish first one being the one that i'm probably the most excited to get to so i definitely would love to try and read it today is powerless by lauren robert this was obviously one of the most popular fantasy books of last year everybody adored it everyone spoke about it loads of people's favorites and i am in my fantasy era my romanticy romanticy yeah, romanticy, that is the right word. And this one has been on my radar for so long that I just finally need to get to it. I know I am definitely gonna read it in March, regardless of if I pick it up today and finish it today or whatever. I would like to hope that I start it today, so that's powerless. Keeping on theme with the fantasy, we have Modern Divination by Isabel Akajanian. This book is another one that has been on my TBR for so long. I have heard such incredible things about this. I know it's fantasy, I know it's academic rivals to lovers. And I've just been so excited to read it. And actually, a couple of days ago, I think it was announced that it's now being traditionally published. So I definitely wanna read this before the traditional published version and yeah that's the other fantasy on this tbr and then to mix it up a little bit with a little like literary translated fiction that is just over 100 pages so there's no reason as to why i can't get to this today die my love by ariana howitt one i'm not gonna lie i don't really know too much about but my best friend did read it and said i would really really adore it in the writing style she did read me like a couple of the quotes when she read it i think in january and i was stunned the writing was astonishing i had a really big feeling that i would love it so i decided to get it and now hopefully i will pick it up today and i think in terms of a loose tbr BR, this is really good we've definitely got some range i might pick up none of these i might pick up something completely different i'm really just going to play it by ear like i said this is quite spontaneous so i just want to read whatever i am in the mood for hopefully it will be stuff on my march tbr and actually saying that i am currently listening to an audiobook of poor things poor things has become one of my favorite films of all time and i own the book and i was like okay i may as well start reading it so i did start listening to the audiobook and i am enjoying it so far i feel like the book is already fairly different to the movie which is completely fine obviously i was kind of expecting that it is a little bit dense which is why i did decide to stick to the audiobook i actually read the first 50 pages physically and i was like yeah no this is not what i'm in the mood for but if i need an audiobook throughout the day which i probably will because there are definitely quite a couple of errands that i need to do i will probably listen to poor thing and yeah with that let's start the readathon currently half free the readathon has been going on for an hour and a half and i've done essentially no reading you would have seen i went for a walk to do a couple of errands the main errand being buying some new candlesticks because i shit you not i get for about 10 a week it's actually a really expensive habit i listened to poor things whilst i was out and doing that this morning i was about 10 percent of the way through i'm now 36 percent of the way through there are six hours remaining but i'm listening to it on double speed so i'll get that done in the next three i will definitely be listening to more of that during the readathon whilst i can't literally like sit down with a physical book but i've spent the last hour doing taxes i'm not even getting into it in this video because it stresses me out so much i have no idea like 
I'm just a girl. Now I just need to sit down and actually read and actually do the readathon. Obviously, this is the TBR, but I think for now, all I kind of want to read is I want to finish Life Ceremony before I go into anything else. Last story that I read in this yesterday actually had my jaw on the floor. Like, I read it whilst I was at work at the bookshop yesterday. I told all of my colleagues about it. I made them read the most grotesque things in this book. Like, I don't honestly know how Siaka Murata writes about things so against our normal society, but in such a compelling way. So much so that I just haven't been able to stop thinking about it. So I definitely want to try and read some more of this now and hopefully maybe finish it now. And once I've done that, I'd like to hope that I can finish Magnolia Parks Into the Dark and then I'll start something new. And yeah, I just really am in the mood to read now. I need to start the reader form properly. Let's read. <laughs> been a couple of seconds but for me it's been a lot longer the time is currently 4 38 so we have been doing this for nearly four hours <laughs> and i've only just finished my first book i have now finished life ceremony by siaka murata i'm not gonna lie this readathon has not started in the way i would have hoped i would have hoped by now i would have been quite away into a couple of books and would have at least finished one so i'm happy i at least finished this from here on out i'm feeling good vibes we're gonna go on to magnolia parks into the dark next but my thoughts on life ceremony i'd obviously already read just under half of this so I didn't read the entirety of it in this video but I'm so happy that I have now finished it. This book has been on my TBR for so long I believe it was also in my 24 books for 2024 video and list so I'm really happy that this is done. I have now read all of Siaka Murata's work. I adore everything she writes. I think she is so unique and so grotesque in her narrative but equally so compelling. I don't know how she does it. I don't know how she writes about things that are so disgusting and like actually make me kind of wretch to the point that like I almost can't read it but at the same time I literally cannot stop reading it and I just binge read it. I actually read the story Life Ceremony whilst I was eating my sushi at work yesterday. If you've read this you all know how much of a bad idea that was. But oh my god, it is so compelling. The way that she writes, her narrative voice, her settings, her atmosphere. I already am really looking forward to whatever she releases next. I think she's an autobi author for me now. I'm not going to give my ratings. I'll give my ratings at the end of the video for all of the books that I do read. But that is the first book done. That was Life Ceremony by Siaka Murata. I really, really liked it. And now we're going to go on to finishing... Magnolia Parks into the dark. I'm terrified. Like I said earlier, I have just over 100 pages left. Hopefully this won't take me too, too long. I honestly can't even think about the fact that I'm actually going to be finishing this. Will I sob? We'll see. I have my blanket. I have a cup of tea. I have a packet of tissues and I have the book. Wish me luck. <laughs> For context, I just read the bottom of page 642. I'm gonna f***ing cry. Oh, what? oh my god. <sighs> I've just finished into the dark that last 100 pages was the biggest roller coaster of my entire life i cried i laughed i smiled but at what cost oh my god this was so good i literally like love this series so much like i have adored every single book these characters i've said it so many times these characters are so real in my brain and i think that is one of the biggest reasons as to why i adore them so much going into this knowing it was the last bj and magnolia book i was like i really don't understand or know how jessa hastings can make it like perfect and really satisfying for everybody and i really do think that she did such a good job of doing that like obviously i'm sure we'll see magnolia and bj in the following daisy hates books which by the way when are they coming out like i need them now <laughs> i'm sure bj and magnolia will be in them but like we're not going to get an actual book about them or like perspectives from them and i feel like this was the perfect way to end it i'm dying to know so much more like i need to know what happens next and i just this was so good. I'm so happy with how it ended and I feel like that is the best feeling to have when you end a series or like the last book in a series. I'm gonna sit on my rating and really think about it until the end of the video when I give all of the ratings for all of the books that I finish. But for this one especially, I feel like I really need to sit with it. But I adored this. I'm already so sad that I have finished it. I love them so much. Excuse 
the terrible lighting i also need to be a little bit quiet because it is quite a bit late now i finished having dinner i watched some the vampire diaries with my best friends and now i'm gonna get cozy in my room i'm gonna shower and then i'm gonna light some candles and then i'm gonna read i started modern divination i'm really not that far through i'm literally only on page 32 and so far i'm already really loving it it's definitely more of an autumnal read it's dark academia it's also fantasy i believe academic rivals to lovers this is a book that i've been trying to get on my tbr for months and i'm so happy that i finally decided to pick it up i feel like i'm gonna probably love it and i'm kind of anticipating five stars i wanted to let you know that i started it before i get cozy and read quite a bit i'm hoping tonight also can we just take a moment for this gorgeous cover like this is the naked hardback this isn't even the actual cover i'm obsessed with it but yeah i'm hoping to read as much of this as possible tonight i'm probably going to stay up fairly late i don't really know how late i am going to stay up i'm definitely going to sleep but i want to make a big chunk into this and hopefully i'll finish it tomorrow so let's do that I say good morning it is actually noon it is 12 26 so i basically only have about half an hour left of the readathon and i've just finished listening to poor things all morning i've been like i feel like this readathon hasn't really been too successful because i've just been reading books that i was already currently reading but actually i'm quite happy that i'm lowering how many books i'm currently in the middle of and also poor things i had only listened to 10 percent, so i have essentially listened to and read this entire book and i'm not gonna lie i thought i was gonna like this a lot more than i actually did poor things the film is definitely undoubtedly one of my favorite films of all time now i've already watched it like three times and i think about it pretty much every day so i knew i wanted to go into the book just because i wanted to kind of consume the story in a different format but i really didn't need to do i feel like i kind of wasted my time with this yeah to be honest it was quite different to the movie i would have been so intrigued to see how i would have felt about this if i had read the book before seeing the film i think this book and the story really warrants really interesting discussions surrounding misogyny and patriarchy and the author in general kind of whether the author created this story as commentary on misogyny or created this story and really had characters like bella who really did not kind of go around the world unless a man was kind of aiding her I feel like both points could be argued and it's the same definitely with the film just because of the actual story like this subject matter is so fascinating so i'd be really intrigued to hear if you've read the book or even just seen the film like what your opinion is of it because my opinion i definitely think the story is commentary on misogyny and the author is very much commentating on men in society even though it is a male author who wrote it i feel like the book in general to be honest had i read this physically i may have enjoyed it a little bit more there are so many illustrations i feel like i kind of need to be careful what i'm showing because some of them are quite graphic there are so many illustrations and obviously listening to the audiobook i don't get that entire experience but i did read the first 50 pages i think i did mention this physically it was so dense and really wasn't what i was in the mood for which is why i then decided to pick up the audiobook so i'm happy that i have now read it and like the audiobook did that for me i don't even know what i'm really saying but basically i preferred the film to the book and there aren't many books i can say that about i don't know right now what i'm gonna rate it i'm gonna sit on it until the readathon is over which is literally in 30 minutes but i am gonna say that i'm gonna read until two for the readathon just because yesterday a large chunk of my afternoon was taken out by tax stuff and i just like i feel like it really set off the tone for the rest of the afternoon unfortunately and i really want to take some of that time back so i'm changing the official timing the readathon is ending at two and what i'm gonna read for the remainder of it is more of modern divination so 
last night I got up to page 100 and I've read 60 more pages this morning and I'm really really enjoying this I've mentioned this book I feel like in every single video since I first got my hands on it in every TBR video I was trying so hard to get it onto the TBR and now that I'm reading it I'm really enjoying it but I feel like I don't know what it is I feel like something is missing modern divination is a dark academia fantasy academic rivals lovers literally my perfect book every single thing that I love I feel like when it comes to the rivals to lovers like the rivals and the enemies element I feel like there is something a little bit missing there like I don't 100% see the enemies there's a scene in this where they were basically calling each other their arch enemies and like I didn't see it like I know they don't like each other I can absolutely see that but in terms of arch enemies why i don't know why i just wish there was a little bit more exploration as to why they are enemies and like more tension surrounding that but other than that i'm really really loving it the vibe is perfect like this would be the perfect book to read in autumn kind of sad i didn't read it last autumn though it's dark academia it's also quite cottage core if you love that sort of cozy cottage vibe that is a little bit gloomy and dark you're gonna love this in terms of the plot we are following aurelia who is a witch she has green magic it is very much like the magic magic system and her magic in particular is very much nature-esque which is partly why I think it has such a good like cottage core sort of vibe alongside the fact that she is currently like literally living in a cottage. But she's a witch, she was at a prestigious college in Cambridge with her academic rival, you know. On campus things are happening, somebody may or may not kind of be hunting witches so she kind of leaves and that is all I really want to say. There really hasn't been that much that has happened or been revealed this far into the book. I was say I'm like just under halfway and I'm incredibly intrigued to see where it's gonna go and how their relationship is gonna develop. I feel like there is also a found family element in this, which I'm adoring. I feel like it's a book worthy of a binge read. So we're gonna continue doing that. It's now 20 to one. The readathon is now ending at two. So let's read for an hour and a half. sat here reading i'm on page 201 and i still have about 40 minutes left so i am literally just gonna sit and read as much of this as possible i was gonna say if you've been thinking about reading this book take this quote that i'm gonna tell you in just a second as you're signed to do so but actually you can't even get a hold of it until 2025 oh my god anyway the quote which has literally had me like giggling kicking my feet i literally took the camera out just to tell you this quote aurelia basically says to him i'm curious to know what kind of game you think this is because i've never played it and he put not this one this one where you act like you still hate me and i pretend i am not clutching at your mercies like i'm starved gagged holy f I'm obsessed. I'm gonna read some more of this. I'll see you soon. The readathon is now over. I'm not gonna lie. The readathon has been over for like two and a half hours, but I spontaneously decided to do a TikTok live stream. Never done a live stream before. Always wanted to, and I just randomly decided to do one, kind of just to hold myself accountable to read. Did I get as much reading done as I had hoped? No. But it was so much fun, and I'm definitely going to do more. But I did read a little bit, so let's do a little roundup now that the 24-hour readathon is over. Obviously, the first book that I finished was *Live Ceremony* by Siaka Murata. I had already started reading this and I rated this one four stars. I love Siaka Murata's writing so much. Definitely I'm already so excited for whatever she's going to release next but four stars. Would recommend if you want a really weird, strange, grotesque, disgusting short story collection. <laughs> I then obviously finished Magnolia Parks Into the Dark and I cried. I love this so much. I honestly don't know how the ending of a book can leave me simultaneously so happy but equally so sad. I absolutely adore this. I'm so happy that I've read it but equally the fact that we're never getting another BJ Magnolia book also just makes me want to reread it right now. This one I think I'm going to rate 4.5 stars. Absolutely adored it. This series literally has my heart. When I finished Poor Things, I've already kind of given my thoughts on it. I wasn't obsessed in the way that I hoped I would be. I think the rating I ended up on was 3 stars. I feel like such a large portion as to why I actually did enjoy the book and liked certain elements of the book was because I had already seen the movie. I would have been really intrigued to see how I felt had I actually read this before seeing the film but because of that I'm like the book on its own wasn't that astounding to me. All Things was the last book that I unfortunately finished but I did read Modern Divination and currently I'm on page 258. I did read the majority of this book. I think I have just over 100 pages left which is so annoying because I so could have finished this in the 24 hours had I actually just took like one more hour to read but it's fine. I'm really really liking this obviously unfortunately I won't be finishing it in this video so if you want to know what my thoughts are definitely follow my goodreads always link down below and you'll see my rating and everything but I'm loving this so much I actually just read a scene on the live stream like people got my live reactions I was gagged there was a little bit of a plot twist and I was like 
Okay, I see where it's going. That was my 24 hour readathon. I am quite happy with how it went, but equally I wish I did read a little bit more. If you have read any of the books that I have spoken about in this video, please let me know what you thought about them, whether you liked them or you disliked them. I'm so nosy, I would love to know. Or let me know if any of them are on your TBR or they are now, or if you want to show you stayed until the very end, but you don't really know what to comment, comment any dark academia emoji for modern divination. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and for spending some time with me, and I will see you again very, very soon with another video. Bye.